Hello folks, and welcome to another episode of Bulldog Gaz's Bike Shed. So today, I'm going to be fitting this here. Not quite sure how it's got to be fitted. On the side. No, that doesn't look right. Can't be on the back. Hmm. No idea how that's got to be fitted. Maybe a bungee or two. Oh, wait a moment. What's this? Ah. Please remove the packaging before trying to fit this, you dum dum. Ah, okay. Ah, get it out of the packet first, then we can fit it. Okay, everything unpacked. Now I can see how they're going to be fitted. So we're going to be fitting these crash bars. But, of course, I have to remove my paddles once again. I don't know how many, how many times I've done this. Hundreds, hundreds of times. Okay, just get on with it, shall we? Any panels on the right side are off. But as uh, one of my subscribers commented, and I said, taking your panels off, everybody knows how to do that, and maybe they don't. Um, and if you don't find it boring, garage videos are always good. I'll show you how I take my panels off. My trusty Ryobi cordless drill. You don't really need this, it just makes the work a bit easier and a bit faster. So there's only one screw for that. And down here, got one of these plastic pop rivets. You just have to pop it up. Get in the middle. Pop. Make sure you keep that somewhere safe, because you'll need it afterwards. I always tend to put my screws for one side on one side. And now, Let's pop out these rubber bungs, nice and carefully, because you've got to push this a bit forward. It's got a hook on here, and if you uh, pull it away, you'll end up breaking it. I have actually broken one of them. I'll put that somewhere safe. Now for the second panel. I'd say it's all quite an easy job, just seeing these screws out. Don't forget the washer, as they do. All these screws have these uh, little plastic washers. I do have washers to replace them. But uh, I'm stingy. I like to keep them. That's three screws. All as easy as that. I don't know what you people are like, but I'm one of these people if I take anything apart, I how it goes back together. If you're using one of these and doing your screws up, turn it to the lower setting. Otherwise, you'll thread your screws. Thread your screws? No. Well, something like that anyway. You know what I mean. You'll, have, you'll end up having no thread on your screws. So, yeah, and this is uh, another case of carefully popping out of its places. There's only two on this one, and that's that gone. Put that back on over there, out of the way so I don't tread on it. That's your panels removed. So let's get round to the nitty gritty and see which bolts I have to take out and uh, where this actually gets fitted. So I'll pick it up, line it up to see where it's got to be fitted. I'm not quite sure myself, but I think it's there. And on that one, and on this one, and this one goes right the way through. So this one has to be replaced. I've got the spare ones there. And the other ones also have to be replaced. Because obviously it's covered up with the engine. You've got to replace the screws that are holding the engine. So we'll do this uh, one side at a time. Let's do these two. I'll take that one out. And then uh, we'll carry on from there. Okay, that's the bolts out. Now, to get this baby put on. One remark I should make at this moment. Be careful. Not to get any uh, cables caught up or any pipes caught up between there. And 
Read the instructions manual carefully because there are spaces which have to be put in between and they are different sizes <laughs> so don't go putting the wrong spaces on the wrong boats and uh, another comment I shall make at this time is the fact that you are tinkering with engine mounts here and you definitely don't want them coming undone when you're on the road so it is important it's very important <coughs> where was I? very important that you uh, actually do these up with a torque wrench afterwards if you don't have one well, I suggest you borrow one this is very important now unfortunately yeah, that looks good this is going to be a bugger to get done up especially with a torque wrench so I'm just going to have to uh, take a guess if it's hard enough or not it should be anyway shouldn't be any problem so let's get these done up and get on the other side the instruction manual was uh, very good it's only basically three bolts this one here you can see that one one down here and one that goes through to the other side is here like I say good stable quality uh, like I say I'm not doing this for SW Motec I'm not getting paid for it it's just I think their quality uh, is very good the instruction manual is even good for beginners but as I said beforehand if you don't have a torque wrench you can tighten them up as you can as tight as you can that's usually enough anyway um, but it is good to uh, check with a torque wrench that you've got the right pressure on there the back is 59 newton meter and these two are 45 newton meter i actually did these per hand i actually did these per hand and then checked afterwards and uh, they were more than the 45 newton meters so what i shall do I should take the bike outside after I put the panels back on and show you from the front give you a little walk around what they look like okay one quick look around SW Motec crash bars I think they look uh, very elegant and very nice nice job and if you know how much it costs to replace this if you've had a crash then it's a lot cheaper to get these if I remember rightly they were 159 euros by my favorite shop Louise you can get them directly by SW Motec they don't cost any more as that and it saves you an awful lot of money if you do happen to have a crash which is something we obviously all don't want to have and something I was trying to say beforehand <laughs> about uh, the threads on the screws using one of these if you use one of these to do your screws up set it low because you'll strip your threads that's the word I was looking for it's funny isn't it, when you speak a different language for 30 years how you forget simple words like that anyway that's all from me now I hope you enjoyed this video please do like and give your comments and if you wish subscribe from Bordeaux Gaz's Bikey Shed see you